Hi, this video is a part of data visualization with Python playlist. In this video, I'll explain word cloud visualization using matplotlib. This notebook contains different type of visualization, but we'll be talking about this word cloud visualization. But before that, let me tell you that we will be importing this word cloud and stop words from this word cloud library. So you can just have a look at it. Uh, this, this library uh, will help us create this word cloud visualization. So let's go to this word cloud visualization. So for generating word cloud, we will be using this LS novel text data. We store this text data in this LS novel. Then we store all of the stop words that we will be using uh, in this variable stop words. And we use this set function to remove the redundancy. This, the stop words are unimportant words that we do not want to, uh, that we do not want to appear in uh, this word cloud uh, visualization. Uh, now, then what we will do is we'll instantiate this word cloud object and this instantiation will need some input parameters for instantiation. So whatever word cloud that we want to generate, we want its background color to be white and we want maximum words that it should consider to be 2000 and it should use different stop words which are stored in this in this variable stop words. OK, then what we will do is we will generate the word cloud using this object which we have instantiated ls underscore wc. This function generate will take an argument which contains the text data. So ls underscore novel contains the text data for this ls underscore novel. Once given this novel text data, what it will do is it will remove the stop words and will generate this word cloud visualization containing different words and the size of words is in accordance with the frequency of their appearance in this text data. Then what we will do is we will plot this, plot this uh, uh, word cloud which is actually generated after applying this function generate. So this word cloud object is generated. Now, this is kind of a picture that has been generated. Now, this will be visualized using matplotlib function image show. So to use this function, we will set the figure. We will uh, first of all create the figure and we will set the figure width and height. And after setting this width and height, this is the size of the figure where we want to uh, where we want this visualization, word cloud visualization. Then we want to display this word cloud by using this internal image show function. This PLT is basically matplotlib.pyplot. We have imported it as PLT. So this image show function takes an image usually. In this case, this ls underscore wc contains an image. So this image uh, and the image is basically this word cloud image that has been generated by applying this generate function. And this interpolation is just uh, done uh, for uh, for better visualization of the image. Then we remove all of the axes. So there are no axes. Uh, there is no x axis or y axis. Then we use this show function to show this word cloud. So the whole process is only instantiating this word cloud object and then generating this word cloud given this text data and then giving given giving this instantiated word cloud which contains basically the which contains this word cloud picture after applying this generate function on the ls underscore novel we give this ls underscore wc instantiated word cloud object to this image show function this image show function will actually generate this image this word cloud and then we remove the axis and we show it this is how we do basic word cloud visualization now let's look at the detail we do not want this said word this said word is not informative. For that reason, uh, we will add this said word into the list of stop words, into the set of stop words that we have created. So this is uh, a set of stop words. And we will add this said also, we'll also call this said as stop word. Then once we have added it and we repeat the process, then we get another visualization where there is no said. However, there are more uh, informative words. For example, little queen, thing, Alice, king, had, so, so the, all of this makes sense now uh, and all of the words are, are actually informative of something. The next thing that we want to do is this word cloud visualization is more better if it is basically used above on the mask. So consider we have this, this picture and we want to use this word cloud visualization applied on the top of this mask instead of this simple figure having background having white background so for that what what we want to do is first of all we will open the image and store it in this variable ls underscore mask and for that we'll be using this image library and then what we will do is this first part is same where we are having this figure and we are setting the figure width and height and then again we are using this image show function but this time what we are doing is this ls mask we are uh, we are just uh, looking at this LS mask, we are not looking at the at the word cloud. So for that reason, uh, we are uh, we are getting this LS mask, uh, and the color map is gray. And again, interpolation is bilinear. Axes axes are off, and we show it. Then what we want to do is we want to again create word cloud 
object and this time we also add this mask and this mask is the ls mask here that we have stored the image that we have stored so this is the mask that we will be using and all of the other all of the other arguments are same once instantiated this object we will call this function generate on this ls novel text data and this will uh, this will return uh, this image in this variable in this instantiated object ls underscore wc then again we will create this figure and then again we'll call this image show but this time we will actually uh, when, when we will when we will input this ls underscore wc as an input argument to this image show function this time the word cloud will be generated but with the mask that we have inputted here so this is the only difference we create a mask we store the image in in, in a variable and that will be a mask and we give it as an argument to this word cloud class where we where we want to instantiate the object of this class so once we have done that then uh, the whole process is really uh, easy and simple so basically this word cloud library is pretty much great to generate these word cloud beautiful visualization i hope so this makes sense now